Good evening children. Welcome to Social Science class. Hope you all fine and safe at home. Today we will start the chapter 11 our India. Shall we start? India is a land of diversities. We Indians are proud of the varied heritage of our country. The diversity in attire, language, tradition etc makes India unique. This chapter will help you to know more about the diversities of India. First, we will study about location, neighboring countries, states and capitals and union territories in India. Let's come to the topic. We have already learned about continents. Can you identify the continent to which India belongs? Yes. India is located in the southern part of Asia. The ocean to the south of India is the Indian Ocean. The part of the ocean to the east of India is known as the Bay of Bengal and to the west is known as Arabian Sea. The neighboring countries of India are China, Nepal, Bhutan, Bangladesh, Myanmar, Pakistan and Afghanistan. For administrative convenience, India is divided into 29 states. On 2014, June, Andhra Pradesh has been divided into two states namely Simandra and Telangana. The administrative headquarters of each state is known as the state capital. Delhi is the national capital territory of India. Among these 29 states, Jammu Kashmir became the Union Territory of India namely Jammu Kashmir and Ladakh on October 2019. Now India has 28 states and 8 Union Territories. This is the latest update. All of you must update this in your textbook. Understand? Let's learn the states in India. All of you listen here. This is the simple way to learn states in India. Using this method, we can easily memorize all the states. Here, at 3 means that there are 3 states in India which starts with letter A and T. They are Andhra Pradesh, Arunachal Pradesh, Assam, Tamil Nadu, Telangana and Tripura. There are only one state which starts with these letters Bihar, Rajasthan, Chhattisgarh, Sikkim, Jharkhand, Punjab, Nagaland, Odisha and West Bengal. Five states start with the letter M. Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra, Manipur, Meghalaya and Mizoram. Two states names starting with the letters U, K, G, H. Uttarakhand, Uttar Pradesh, Karnataka, Kerala, Goa, Gujarat, Haryana and Himajal Pradesh. Is it clear? Other than the states, there are 8 union territories in India. They are Puducherry, Daman and Dew, Dadra and Nagar Haveli, Chandigarh, Lakshadweep, Andaman Nicobar Islands, Delhi, Jammu Kashmir and Ladakh. Understand? The physiography of India is diverse with mountain ranges, plains, vast plateaus, deserts, coastal plains and islands. Let's learn more about them. First one is mountains. You have learned about the major mountain ranges in different continents. A part of the Himalayas, the loftiest mountain range in the world belongs to India. The other major mountain ranges in India are the Aravallis, the Western Ghats, the Eastern Ghats, the Vindhya Ranges and the Satpura Ranges. They are comparatively lower than the Himalayas in height. A number of rivers originate from these mountain ranges. Next, Plains. Plains are extensive and level landforms. 
there is a vast expansive plain to the south of the Himalayan mountain ranges. These plains were formed by the deposition of alluvium brought down by the rivers originating from the Himalayas. These are known as the Indo-Ganga Brahmaputra plains. Crops such as paddy, wheat, maize and sugarcane are cultivated in these fertile plains. Hence, this region is also referred to as India's granary. Have you seen deserts, strong winds, scorching heat and extensive sand dunes are the characteristic features of deserts in India. A major part of the state of Rajasthan situated to the northwest of India is a desert. This region known as the Thar Desert is sparsely inhabited and the least cultivated due to the scarcity of rain. Plateaus are comparatively elevated landforms with almost flat surfaces. The Deccan Plateau is the largest in India. The other major plateaus are Malwa and Chota Nagpur. Coastal regions are lowlands bordering the sea. India has a long coastline. The coastal plains of India can be divided into two the West and East Coastal Plain. The southernmost coastal state is Tamil Nadu. The land surrounded by sea is called an island. The Lakshadweep Islands in the Arabian Sea and the Andaman and Nicobar Islands in the Bay of Bengal are part of India. Is it clear? We will continue this chapter in the next class.